become full. If this thing is working in my heart, in my mind with contentment and godliness, then that means I'm where I need to be, that money is a tool. But if money is never enough, if I can never get enough, I have no contentment. And if I don't have no contentment, there's no godliness. And if there's no godliness and no contentment, it's going to be an ongoing Ferris wheel. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. See, God didn't, didn't tell all of us that we're going to be, all be millionaires. He didn't tell us that. But he did promise us blessings. He did promise us some promises in his word that our needs would be met. Our needs would be met. We would be able to minister to others. And if the storehouse is full and the storehouse is doing well, the church, it can minister to others. And let me say this because it seems like everybody don't want to admit this. But at some point in time in life, you will go through a crisis where you will need someone else. You will go through life where you will need someone else, whether it's money, whether it's friendship, relationship. Whether it's possessions of some things, somebody might have something you can use. It's just like when certain people have, have problems and you loan them something or you give them something to use. That's what I'm saying. That's what the storehouse is for. It's to minister to the needs. That's why God said, bring your tithes to the storehouse. And the storehouse can be used for the kingdom of God. That's what it's meant for. That's what we use it for. That's godliness with contentment. But you try, and you want more and more and more, or you want to guard, 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 it'll be gone like that. You know why? Because every year I got a tax return for the first, when I built the house in 93 in Auburn, in 93 to 2003, every year I got a fat income tax return, something in my house, appliance-wise, broke. And I had to go fix it. Or I had to go buy another one every year. Or a vehicle messed up and I had to pay to get it fixed. Every time that big fat check came in, something broke. It's still a blessing. Hmm? It was a blessing. I didn't see that as a blessing. I saw I can't I no. can't spend my money on what I want. <laughs> but the blessing is God provided so when that item broke, I could go buy a new one. I didn't see it that way then. It's that godliness, that mindset, that heart set. That's what you look for. Because with the godliness comes contentment. That's great game. As long as you operate in the flesh and you think it's yours and we all get caught up in this mind, 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 we'll lose it. Remember about the man who built the barns? God blessed him and he built the barns. Remember what happened to him? It cost him his life. Not just his barns of possessions, it cost him his life. We're not to be hoarders of God's blessings. We're to be distributors of God's blessings. Pray with me, please. Father, we just thank you for this moment, this time. Lord, I pray that our hearts are learned. I pray that our hearts are encouraged. But yet understand, we, if we seek riches, that's not good. But if we seek contentment with godliness, it's great gain. It's from you. It's it, the wisdom and the understanding is from you. And that helps us to understand how to do the things we do. And we understand that money is a tool given by you. So bless this time. Go with us now. May this message encourage us and strengthen us. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.